What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. And on this podcast, we do a brand new audio version every single day, and we do a new video version four times a week, Monday through Thursday. If you want to get the audio version, all you got to do is go to the Apple Podcasts and Spotify, type Music Mastery Podcast, you will find it. The purpose of this is to document my journey as an independent musician, but also it's to give some free value, right? I want to just try to share all the kind of tips and tricks that I've learned. So I do like music, music production, recording, writing lyrics, but I also do a lot of digital marketing. So I've learned about email, sales funnels, Facebook advertising, all that types of stuff. So what we're gonna do today, I got my handy dandy marker, we got the whiteboard, whiteboard is a verb, we are whiteboarding right now, and I'm gonna show you guys what the heck a sales funnel is. Now, most of you probably already know what a sales funnel is, but wait, if you know what a sales funnel is, don't leave this video yet, Okay, don't leave this video yet because at the end of the video, I'm gonna sh give you guys an opportunity to learn how to implement sales funnels more directly into your music business. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain the basics of sales funnels really quick. Then we can talk about a real life example of how sales funnels can work for you as a musician. So if you've already heard of sales funnels, don't go anywhere yet, we're gonna get a little more advanced. So first off, what's a sales funnel, right? No matter what you use, sales funnels are not just online. Okay, everybody has some kind of a sales process. So even a uh, coffee shop, like I'm a big coffee person. So even a coffee shop, right? Most coffee shops don't have a super advanced sales funnel. You kind of, you drive around, you see their, their sign and you're like, oh, that looks like a good coffee shop. I'm gonna walk in. You walk into the door. From that point, you've already started through their sales funnel. You'll walk in and you know, most likely you kind of know where to go walk to the desk, not the desk, to the, to, to the front to order. You, you order your, your drink, you wait and get your drink, it's delivered, you drink it. That whole thing you just went through step by step was a sales process. Whether you like it or not, whether that coffee shop likes it or not. Now, some coffee shops have an extremely really uh, well optimized sales funnel, some don't. And you're probably thinking, okay, like, like you go to a coffee shop, on your mind you're thinking what? Coffee, right, or tea or something. You go to a coffee shop, but what else do they have there? Baked goods, sometimes. Like my favorite coffee shop locally is called Moni's. It's in Walnut Creek. So I'll go to Moni's to get their coffee, but they have extremely good waffles. It's nuts. I, I, I gotta show you guys sometime, but the waffles are like these huge waffles and they'll throw all this great stuff on it. It's a meal in and of itself. The coffee is the core offer, but the waffle is like kind of an upsell item. It's an extra thing. I went in there for the coffee. I never knew they had waffles till a couple months ago. And I was like, damn, your waffles look hella good. They're like, you need to get one. I was like, all right, I'm gonna get one. I go to that coffee shop all the time because their sales process is really good. Plus great customer service. So what we're gonna do is, that's a sales funnel for in-person, a brick and mortar. It's, it's what's that process from that person has never heard of you to they hear about you, they walk into your business, they purchase something and then they come back over and over and over and over again. That makes sense? So that's a sales process for in person. Now, we can translate that same sales process online and I'm gonna explain that in just a second. So, you know, um, online, you might see an advertisement, and you guys have seen that, right? You've seen ads on Facebook and, and it'll tell you, download this free get guide or this free ebook, whatever it is, right? And then you get to that, you get to like, uh, you get the free thing, then you get like a sales page. I'll break down my funnel for you in, in actually right now. I'll break it down for you. So. Mine, you know, is, is um, I have a couple of them, but really mine, the main one that I have is download 15 free beats, right? If you're a rapper and you want some free beats, go to giftedstarterpack.com. You can get 15 free beats. No catch, no catch. You will get the 15 free beats, but after that, you're prompted to, hey, do you want to upgrade these beats for a certain price with some free bonuses? Then there's an order bump at the end, and then there's a, an upsell at the end. I know I'm going kind of fast, but I'm gonna explain this to you more. So think of it like this. At the top of your funnel, you know what a funnel means, right? You're Actually, you're in my funnel right now. If you're watching this video, you're in a funnel somehow because at the end of this video, right, I'm gonna to present to you guys with an opportunity on how to implement sales funnels into your music business. There's also other things down in the description. It's all a sales process. It's all a sales, and, and not all the time am I gonna post content where you necessarily have to buy something. Like sometimes I just post content because I want you to watch some cool stuff. 
Sometimes there's going to be an end goal. That's kind of like how the way things work. I'm not out here posting content every single day for you to not end up doing some kind of call to action. I'm doing it every day because eventually I want you to do something. Sorry, I'm not lying to everybody, right? So, all right. We're whiteboarding. If you're listening to the audio version, don't trip. I will explain it audio too. So at the top of your funnel is what we call, let's just say cold traffic or just traffic in general. Okay. Now there's traffic out there. You don't have to create traffic. It's out there already. It's on face. People are on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Google, Twitter, all that stuff. Right. Um, traffic is an entire conversation that we could talk about, which we're not. We're going to talk just about the funnel part. But traffic is this whole thing. But if, essentially, with traffic, you can just think of this as nobody knows who you are yet. Okay? Nobody know, th This is the part where nobody knows you. So, uh-oh, whiteboard falling. So now, right, we're on IG. They're on Facebook. Google, right, etc. Oh, here we go. Maybe Captain can hold us up. Perfect. Captain Underpants is actually gonna come in handy now. So, we got traffic. The next step in your funnel would probably be, maybe they, for, for let's talk musicians right now, like not producers, let's talk musicians. Producers, it's easy to come up with a sales funnel. And if you don't already know, you can go uh, check out Producer Funnel Secrets and you'll, you'll get your sales funnel for producers. But I'm gonna just focus on musicians right now. The next step might be a video. Most likely it's a video, performance video, music video, let's just put video. Right, and it can be a like I said, it could be a really well produced music video. It could be a performance video of you in your garage. It, it, it could be, it could be anything, any kind of good video. Okay, and what you can do is you can run ads. Okay, you can run ads to this video. Now, in my opinion, Facebook is the best place for you to run ads for these types of videos. But you could run YouTube ads too. We won't get again. We're not going to get into advertising. I just want to explain the framework. So you got traffic and then you're like, all right, well, I have a video and I'm trying to get a bunch of people that might like me to watch that video. So you're gonna, there, there's gonna be people that go from traffic, never heard of you, to now they've seen you, they've watched your video, okay? The next step would be getting that traffic into your ecosystem. Because just because somebody watched your video on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, doesn't mean you own that traffic. And again, there's different types of traffic. I'm not getting into it, but basically you got to think of traffic like this. You don't own that traffic. You can't go talk to that person again just because they liked your video. You can't talk to that person just because they follow you on Instagram. You can talk to people on Instagram through your posts and all that, but Instagram controls how many people see your posts. What we want to get is we want to get people on a email list. Now, for those of you right now who are, and I'm just gonna debunk this right now, for those of you who are thinking, email's dead. You're com you are completely wrong, it's definitely not dead. 80% of revenue that is done online is still done via email. People are still more comfortable purchasing on emails than they are purchasing from Facebook. So everybody's like, email's dead, it's all about Instagram, social media, bro. People are not on Instagram to buy stuff. People are not on uh, Facebook to buy stuff. They're not really on their email to buy stuff either, but people are still more comfortable buying from an email than they are from a Facebook or an Instagram post. So email's definitely not dead. Email's actually on the rise, especially since COVID and the whole pandemic got everybody staying home and on their screens more. Trust me, email's rising up. You could Google it, okay? So we wanna get people from, we, they've never heard of us, to, all right, they just saw our video. That's cool, that's cool. Um, maybe we ran some ads to that video. That's cool. How, and then we have to get them to our email list. Now, once they're on our email list, that's great. Growing an email list as a musician, this is the code I'm trying to crack right now. Once I learn how to grow an email list as a musician, and then I will absolutely re repurpose that and package it to you because I want to teach people how to do that. The next step is what? Money. We like money. We love money. On this YouTube channel and on this show, we like money. If you don't like money, go watch somebody else. You're on the wrong show. Go watch somebody who doesn't like talking about money. I love money. So let's. when you get somebody on your email list, you are going to be so much more likely 
to get them to buy something from you. So much more likely. And here, here's, the, here's, the, here's, the, here's the fact. Again, I'm going to go back a little bit to people who, don't, who think email is dead. What do you think you need to have a Facebook account? What do you need to have a Facebook account? You need an email. What do you need to have an Instagram account? A Facebook account. And you need an email. So for people who say email is dead, it's kind of stupid because you can't even have a social media account without an email address. So you need an email. Everybody still checks email. If I have an important document to send to you, am I going to send it to you on Facebook? No, I'm going to send it to your email. Yo, what's your email? Anybody here use Google Drive to share documents? You need an email for that. So trust me, people are still using email. Now, this is basically the way the funnel works. It's super simple. They go from traffic to a video you get them on your email list, and then you want them to buy stuff. That's essentially how the funnel looks. And I basically crafted out a, not really like a super a detailed plan, but you know, I crafted out basically for you, the, this, is the, this is the framework, the overall framework for moving people from they've never heard of you to getting them to buy stuff from you, okay? I'm, I'm gonna drive another point home, okay? We're in a pandemic still. All right. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, maybe we're out of the pandemic, but chances are you're watching this and we're in this pandemic or you're listening to this. And what does that mean for artists? That means no concerts. That means no shows. That means no tours. Okay. So how are you going to make money? I bet none of you thought of that. Or maybe you did. I hope you did. Cause if you didn't, you're kind of stuck, but this is how you do it. You can still sell things to people online, merchandise. Look, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Kevin Gates shirt right now. Don't tell him, but I actually bought this outside the venue. I didn't buy it from Kevin Gates, but somebody was holding up this shirt on the street and they were like, Kevin Gates gear, 20 bucks. I'm like, 20 bucks, I got a $20 bill. I just, boop, threw that 20, but Kevin Gates, right? It's kind of a bad example because I didn't really buy it from him. Oh, I'm a bad person. But whatever, it is what it is. The point is, this is an example of artist merch. I would have bought it from him if she didn't get to me first, but she got to me first outside the venue for 20 bucks. I was like, here's the 20, okay? Sue me, I'm a bad person, Blah, whatever. But this is something that you can buy from an artist. This is, these are keys. A lot of people have keychains. Like I have a little bottle opener, I have my AirPods case. What if you sold people AirPod cases? I don't know. My phone has a case. You can sell phone cases to people. Like you gotta start thinking branding. You gotta start thinking merch. You gotta start thinking of things that way and think I can sell all of those things to my email list. It's gonna be way too hard to try to be like, hey guys, link in bio, go buy something. They're not gonna buy, it's too difficult. The conversion rate's gonna be way too low. This is called direct response, means you are directly getting somebody. You are directly emailing that person being like, yo, I have this offer that I think you might like, it's for a limited time only, get it. It's gonna be so much easier to get money and convert from an email list than it is from your social media following. Now, that's a whole nother topic. Email marketing, direct response, that's a whole nother video, that's a whole nother topic. I don't wanna get into it because it's too much for your brain. Just start thinking about what's my sales process. And let's say you don't have money for advertising right now. That's totally fine, right? That's totally fine. You can still post a lot of different videos. Like right now we have TikTok, which is a great way to start posting stuff to document your journey. We have YouTube, we have podcasts. The way that you're gonna get your name out there if you don't have ads is you have to post super consistently and you have to outreach. Again, that's a whole nother topic. We could literally go into each one of these topics on, on its own. Like Each one of these is its own topic, but I just wanted to get you started. Because I think you've probably, maybe you've heard of sales funnels, but I'm trying to teach you how to convert this stuff as a musician. I want to translate the stuff that I've learned from digital marketing and translate it for a niche that's really, 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 really difficult to translate, which is music. So I just want to help you get this going. All right? So here's my offer. If you feel like you kind of just, you just heard this stuff and you're like, all right, I get it. This sounds good, but how do I implement this into my brand? I don't even know how to build a sales funnel. I have no idea what I like. Is there a website that I use? I don't know how to build a website. Like I've never ran paid ads. Like I don't even have an email list. Like what do I do, Lizzie? Well, here's what you can do. 
All you have to do is click below and book a 15 minute call with me. It's a free call where we can see if we're a good fit for each other to see if I can even help you implement this stuff into your career. Everybody needs specialized help. Like the fact of the matter is I've gotten super far in my career because I've had specialized help. I've bought courses, I've read books, I've done the work. That's all necessary. But when I had specialized help from dudes like Legion Beats and Anno Domini, that is when I started really winning because I had people looking at me directly in my eyeballs on a Zoom call and being like, hey, Lee, they said my name, this is what you should do. And I was like, okay, cool, thank you so much. You know what I mean? And that's what's really helped me get my, um, get my, my business as a music producer going. So I wanna help you do that same thing as an artist. Click below, book that 15 minute call. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification if you're listening to the pod. Leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe to the pod and share it with a friend. All right guys, thank you so much for watching on YouTube and for listening to the pod and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace.